Hi, I'm Mike. I'm the Programs and Volunteer Coordinator here at the Manitoba Museum, and today is Earth Day. This year's theme is Our Power, Our Planet, and so we're going to be talking about energy. Where does it come from? How is it created? Well, here in Manitoba, over 97% of our homes, schools, businesses, even the exhibits here in our science gallery are powered by electricity. But how is that electricity generated? Well, it's done with the power of moving water. We have many beautiful rivers and streams that flow into lakes here in Manitoba, and that moving water contains energy. Let's find out how we harness that energy. All right, so here we have our own form of an hydroelectric generator. We've got water inside this bin, and in that water is a submersible pump. And if I turn that pump on, it's gonna start pushing water through our spinning wheel here. It's spinning very rapidly, even though we've got just a little bit of water in there. And of course, that spinning wheel is attached by a series of wheels and belts into a motor at the bottom here, where if we take this light bulb and connect it to some wires, electricity will pass through and we've got light. So that's exactly how we power our homes and schools here in Manitoba, using hydroelectricity just a lot more water when it comes through our rivers and streams. Even though hydroelectricity is a relatively clean and renewable resource as a source of energy, it does have its disadvantages. By damming up our rivers and streams, we do put our wildlife that exists in those areas at a bit of a disadvantage. Habitats can be altered, and communities that rely on the water from those rivers and streams can have availability changes because of that. So while it's not perfect, it is certainly better than fossil fuels, and therefore it is much better for a healthier planet.